Hello students and welcome to the grammar class. Today uh, we are going to learn on the topic that is uh, families. We all have our families, isn't it? Father, mother and even the animals we rear at home or we keep at home even they have their families. So in this chapter we are going to learn some animals and their families, parents and child. Right? Okay, so why do we keep animals at home? We keep animals, some animals or livestock, we are also called livestock or farm animals or domesticated animals for cultivation or sometimes we use to generate profit. Example, so why do we keep cows at home? We keep cows at home in order to get milk, isn't it? And goat for meat, ham for, you know, uh, meat and eggs, right? So we raise them in order to get profit, isn't it? Uh, so let's see some families of animals. So we'll start with sheep. Sheep and here it is father, mother and their child. Right? Okay. So let's start with sheep. Or oh, sheep. Father is called ram. Family of sheep, father is called ram. And mother is called you. How do you pronounce it? E, e W E U. Okay? And child is called lamb. Alright? Father, mother, and child of sheep. Okay? Then next, we keep and we make farm for them that is cow. Why do we keep cow? For meal, isn't it? So, father is called bull. Alright, mother, I will say it's cow. And child is called calf. Alright, and we keep at home. Next, there is horse. Horse. So, father is called sire. Or stallion. You can either call sire or stallion for father. And mother is a male, isn't it? We have already learned. Male and child is called cult. A horse family. Now move on next. That is, we keep at home. Head, right? So father is called sometimes uh, cock or rooster. Sometimes we call cock or rooster. And mother is a hen, hen only. Okay, and child, chick, chick. Okay. Next. Is duck duck okay? So the father is called Drake and mother is duck only and child duckling. Duckling. Okay. Next, farm animals. Goose. We also keep goose at home, right? So the father is called gander. Mother is goose only, and the child is called gosling. 
your screen. So these are there in your book. Uh, there are some other animals too who has who have families, isn't it? For example, and we keep at home, we make farm for them, we raise them in order in order to get profit, right? Some animals such as pig, also even donkey we keep, we rear, and even buffaloes, right? So these are your families of sheep, father, mother, cow, father, mother, and horse, and dog, goosling. This is all we make for them, we make a farm for them. In order to get profit, sometimes we keep or we rear animals. Uh, we buy them, we keep them, we rear them, and we sell them, and to get in order to get handsome amount, isn't it? In order to get money, we rear them, and first needs milk. Even wool, we give sheep in order to get wool. We have leathers too, right? So uh, let's see some other example. For example, pig. Okay, pig. Father is called boar. In the family of pig, father is called boar. Okay, and mother is called sow. As good as the so, all right, and the child is piglet. The child is called piglet. I'm giving you some example, other example which are not there in the book, okay? And see, let's see of donkey. Donkey. In the family of donkey, father is called Jack. Okay, and mother. Jenny and child is called Paul. F O A L Paul. Now, uh, like for example, buffalo also we keep, isn't it? We make farms for the buffalo. They are also farm animals. So, um, for buffalo in general, father is called bull, okay, and mother is cow. Okay, in general, and the baby is called calf. So, go to the book, okay, at home, and try to do all the exercises from the book, which are there. This much for today. We'll meet in the next class with the next topic. Alright, so till then, take care and stay safe, keep learning. Thank you.